everybody, it's Gary from Garrett Outdoors. Thank you for joining me on another magnificent day here. Storming earlier, but now the sun's out, so it's hot and humid. But today, I've got a fun video for you. I'm gonna take, and I am going to assemble this. So we're gonna see what this thing's all about. Now I had some questions about whether, what kind of weight this is gonna be able to hold, and what kind of a capacity it has as far as volume. We're going to find out. All right. That's cool. Looks like it comes mostly assembled. Okay. Maximum weight capacity is 70 pounds. Seven zero. Let's get it put together. All right, well, there it is. And uh, this thing took me all of about three minutes to put together. You literally slide this on, slide that on, put the screw handle thing in, put a pin on it, slide the wheel in, put a pin on it, slide the wheel in, put a pin on it, and you're done. Extremely simple to put together. Now, a couple things I know about this now that I can tell you. This thing doesn't have like an actual metal bottom to it. It has some kind of an insert, kind of like on those packs where they have some kind of a card or cardboard insert, insert to give them some kind of support. That's what this has. So the bottom has some give to it. And if you put something on there extremely heavy, it's going to damage it. What's actually all holding it all together is in a metal frame. There is a metal frame along the outside, but it's some kind of a cloth that they've put together and everything is just sewn in. Now, if you really wanted to beef this thing up, what you could do, put instead of taking that insert that's in there out and put some kind of a flat sheet of metal in there, and that would give the bottom more strength, but then you're gonna be stressing the seams on this material. As it is, it might work for what I needed to do, what I intend to do with it. But it is pretty nice, and it feels pretty sturdy. And this, the way this works, is if I want to change this, I just take this, unscrew it, which everything has a lashing, so you can't lose it. Even this, lashed. And then you move it to this position, down here, and you would screw it in once I find the hole. And now it's ready to be hooked up to the bike. That's the only thing I haven't done is hooked up this to the bike. So what you're supposed to do is mount this onto your bike, I believe permanently. Obviously I haven't done it yet. But the way it works is you just take this pin out And then you drop it, just like that. So you mount this metal thing, this thing is sturdy, but you mount this to the back rear axle of your bike. And then this, whenever you want it, this kind of a universal joint looking thing, you mount it with this pin directly to your bike and you're ready to go. All in all, I gotta say I really like it for what it is. And uh, you know I got it at a phenomenal deal, so I can't really complain about anything about it too much. I only paid, what, $15 for it? So it's going to be great. And being brand new, it's in better shape than the bike is. So <laughs> I need to get my bike back up and running. I need some new tires. Maybe even some new uh, wheels, rims. I don't know. I haven't been on it much lately. But I need to get that taken care of. I need to get it up and running. My kids all have bikes. All my kids have bikes. I actually have a surplus of bikes. I have five daughters and I have like eight bikes. And I have my bike and my wife has a bike. So everybody else's bikes is in great shape. Mine being the oldest though, it needs some attention. You can put air in the tires and it'll hold air for like a bike ride, but after a day or two, they go flat. So that's not good. It's not in a state of readiness not in a good state of readiness, it's in a poor state of readiness. 
But this is going to go great. This is going to be... I know I should have bought more of these. But what I'm actually looking for, what I really like, is one of those child carriers that you put behind the bike and it can hold like two or three kids side by side. Not really good for off-roading, but if everything, if all the vehicles go down, I need to go to bikes. Or if it's long-term and cars aren't a viable option for whatever reason and we don't have a horse, so I don't have a buggy, then I'd be looking at using bicycles. And uh, this would be great for hauling supplies, whatever, but it's not a great person hauler. So one of those pull behind things would hold not only more supplies, but it would hold people, kids. But for now, this will work. Anyways, you guys, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, put them down in the comment box below. Catch you guys next time.